Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Welcome to part two of the push ads case study. Today we're gonna do the optimization, how to optimize your push ads campaigns. We are using rich ads in this case study. If you haven't already watched part one, check the description below. There is a link to part one where we set up the ads, the landing page, the tracking, talked about the, the ad network, so ideas for ads, everything you need to know about setting up push ads. So check out part one. There's also a contest in part one. If you comment in that first video, you can win a uh, lifetime membership at Powerhouse Affiliate if the contest is still ongoing. So please, again, check out part one. But now let's start talking about optimizing. I have some data in from the initial test. Remember, we just said we were gonna set it up for $25. We were gonna send some traffic and then start analyzing. And now I'm gonna talk about what I do when I start to optimize my push ads campaigns or any campaigns in that, uh, for that matter. So basically, this is some of the ideas I use. These are my methods, you know, my ideas. Obviously, everyone has different methods, so I would appreciate if you wanna comment below um, what you think I should have done differently or what I should do in this campaign. I would be happy to hear your comments and questions, um, so please do that. Also, subscribe to this channel for more videos and case studies like this. Make sure you subscribe and like the, the click the little bell icon there so that you get uh, notifications every time I do more videos like this, okay? So now, let's go into my computer and let's look at the data from yesterday's first results. Uh, I set it up, we have some traffic as you can see here. Here's today's data. We did get some conversions, so this is great. It allows me to show you what I would do next, okay? Now this is only a two-part series. If you want more case studies like this, again, go to powerhouseaffiliate.com, sign up for our premium. We have tons of case studies. We do more and more like this all the time. But I'm gonna show everything here, so don't worry. Uh, Coming in, so the first thing I usually do, remember yesterday we set up three landing pages and we set up about five ads, okay? I highly recommend you do that. Do not direct link, and this is precisely why I'm gonna show you right now. So the first thing I would optimize is the landing pages, okay? So looking at the data for the last, um, well, just for this test, we have 412 clicks here roughly. Um, let's just go in and see how much we've spent so far on these 400. So 404 clicks reported here in Rich Ads for a price of $17.40. My revenue here is four times three, which is 12, so I'm down five bucks. But for anyone that actually runs traffic and you know that this is a great start, when you start seeing conversions on day one without optimizing anything, this is a great start, okay? So looking here, let's take a look at what we can do here to make this profitable, hopefully on day one or day two, okay? So looking at the landing pages, remember we had three tests. I did A, B, and C. I showed you an example in part one. Um, you can see here clearly, let me just do a refresh here to make sure that everything is up to date. So we have 416 clicks and 19 click-throughs and we can see here the three pages that are running. Okay, so this one here, test A. I'm gonna pause this one. This is 100 clicks coming to that landing page with a 5% click-through rate, which does have a higher click-through rate, but no conversions, okay? Now, this isn't a lot of data to go on. I could probably run another day, but I'm gonna start just with a couple of landing pages now. I'm gonna take away the third variable, and I'm gonna go A, B now, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select test B and C, and I'm gonna turn off test A. That is my first thing I'm going to do, okay? Next thing I wanna check is the creatives. Now what I've discovered here is that one ad here is responsible for all of the conversions, okay? So this is a great sign. It means I have one ad out of the five that I put up that is really doing well. So this is why it is recommended on any push network or any ad network in general. When you start your campaigns, make sure you start with more than one ad, okay? If anybody here is newbie or a newbie and you're coming in and you're setting up one landing page and one ad, and you think, oh man, this never works, or I can never get conversions, this is why. You're not testing enough variables. You need to start with a broad spectrum. So you need to go with many landing pages, many ads, and many placements, okay? Um, so that is why the budget can start to spread thin. That's the beauty of push ads, is that you can get these penny clicks, you can get the data first, then jack your budget and start going on to other networks if that's what you wanna do to scale, okay? So here we have the ad, ad ID, one nine six one four uh, six eight. So I can go into push uh, into rich ads now, and I can actually see 
which ad is actually doing best. So these are the two first things I would optimize. I would start by uh, running this ad. I'm gonna show you the ad, don't worry. And I'm gonna show you this ad and then what I would do next is actually build two more ads similar to that ad that's winning and, and run a, another day with the two landing pages that are converting three more ads that are running similar to the ad that we have here. Now, there's some more optimization strategies here we're going to do. I'm gonna show you inside Rich Ads now, and we're gonna talk about their platform, some of the great tools you can do inside, assuming you've sent your conversion data into Rich Ads. So one of the things that I didn't do um, originally, and this is why I mentioned in the previous part, is that you need to watch your tracking, make sure everything is working properly, is that I didn't properly set up the post back to send the conversions into Rich Ads. However, I do have all of the data in CPV Lab Pro, so we can still optimize and show you exactly how I would do that. But if I would have set the post back properly inside CPV Lab Pro here, you can see, you can set up traffic sources and I have it all set up here. Um, the external click ID here is now set to go into the external ID token. And now I'm setting the post back for rich ads inside my CPV Lab Pro setting right here, and then I save it. So I'll say I'll let you take a look at that, and that is how you would set it up to send the post uh, the the conversions back into rich ads. However, I'm still going to be able to optimize here, and I'm going to show you precisely how. Okay, so coming into rich ads here, you can see that I have the clicks here. Um, but unfortunately the conversions just didn't show up because I didn't have that post back set properly. Okay. But we're going to still see what happened here. So coming in, I'm going to look at the ads or the creative ID. So what I want to see here, um, actually I'm just going to go into the campaign setting. So the creative ID that one, as we mentioned earlier, if I come into the stats, the campaign, uh, the ad ID I'm looking for is 1961468. Okay, so coming in to the platform of Rich Ads, I can see the ad right here that was the winner. This is the You Got Three Spins, and congratulations as the title. I have a couple images here that were flashy. This is the winning ad, so now I wanna make sure I pause my other ads, which are right here. I can click the little pause button on the others, run this one, only or set up two more, okay? I would suggest running two more ads. It's still way too early in this campaign to just assume this is the one ad that's going to really work, okay? So that is just an example, okay? Showing you precisely what the ad is. And now um, we know the other two landing page pages one. So now what else can I optimize here? Well, coming back into my campaign here inside CPV Lab Pro, I have a whole bunch of options I can look at here because I collected all of this data here, okay? So I'm gonna turn off the creative, and now what I wanna look at is the next level of optimization, and that would be the subscriber list ID, okay? So this is uh, basically the next level that I can pause certain subscriber lists inside my campaign setting on Rich Ad. So these are the placements that I wanna check out. So I would click on that, and then I would just check it out. And as you can see over on the right here, I have a bunch of subscriber lists, IDs that I can actually pause inside Rich Ads. And what I see clearly here already is a couple that I wanna really check out and, and either pause or remember I talked about micro bidding in the last part, you can start micro bidding and bidding less or more on the ones that are converting. So right now I have three conversions, um, you can see um, these, uh, the sub list IDs here, but this one here is concerning. It has 63 clicks with absolutely no click throughs on the landing page. This is an indicator that this one needs to be paused. So this sub list, I would take over to rich ads and you can change inside of your campaign setting. So I would find the actual subscriber list ID that was not working and I would uncheck the box, okay? Um, so that is what you would wanna do. So you would wanna find all of the subscriber list IDs here that are not converting. This one perhaps too, even though it has 80 clicks, um, there were four click-throughs. Maybe they were just click-throughs on the wrong landing page. I'm gonna let it go a little longer, but the ones that have zero click-throughs, to me, is an indicator that maybe it's a weak placement and I just wanna pause it and get it out of my data, okay? 
Um, there's some other ones here, but there's really not enough data yet. So I'm gonna have to let it go another 25 to $50 before I start coming back in here and really analyzing further on the subscriber list ID. Now there's some other things you should be checking as well. So coming back into your options here, I can unselect the subscriber list ID and now I can choose something else like the browser perhaps or um, maybe the operating system. Let's see what we have here for that. So as we can see here, all of the, well, two of the conversions were on Android. So perhaps I should focus on Android, but it's still again, way too early. Um, and we have some windows here, small clicks, iOS, uh, one click. And so really not enough to go on here. Uh, let's check out another setting here that we could perhaps optimize further where we could go into, uh, let's turn off that one. Because every time you add layers here, it's gonna make your data harder to read. So that's why I only select one at a time here. So I can see which one is going. So let's see the browser and see if that gives us any indicators. Um, we don't really have anything running away yet here. Chrome Mobile is, you know, if I block Chrome Mobile, I'll probably get no conversions. So really, not enough data yet to go on the browser or the operating system yet. So I'm gonna stick to the subscriber lists and perhaps even check deeper into the subscriber list where I can actually go into the publisher ID. Um, again, I could do that, turning off the browser, turning on publisher ID, which goes a little deeper into the metrics. And now I can see uh, this one here, 38 clicks, actually no publisher ID there. So that one's tough to do anything there. All the other ones are just kind of not enough data yet. But again, these are the publisher IDs. I could take these and again, block them. Remember I talked about whitelists and blacklists. This is where you would get those. You would blacklist the ones that have a ton of clicks and no click throughs or a ton of clicks, no conversions, whatever. And that's how you do that. So basically you start at the landing page, the ads, see which ones you can, you know, work into your campaign then look at the next level of data which is the subscriber list in this case because we're using rich ads some networks are different um, then you're going to look deeper into the data so that you can find out where exactly stuff is happening so really early in this campaign but this is how it begins very good indicator here that we have conversions on day one that is how you run push ads uh, finding offers that convert really on a first page submit is probably your best bet do not direct link i highly recommend using landing pages here as you can see we use landing pages and that is precisely why we were able to find winning ones okay so test b i would probably run here at 70 percent and test c i would run at 30 percent considering that it has a higher click-through rate um, and it's still you know early but i could also you know run only test b and create another one very similar to test b and it just it just works that way okay so i showed an example of a landing page in the previous part uh, i'm not going to show you all these landing pages we do have the templates inside powerhouseaffiliate.com if you have more questions obviously post your comments below and I would love to hear some more comments. If there's any data you feel I left out here, um, I can uh, also you know, carry on in the comments and talk about that below. It's unfortunate we didn't actually get the conversions inside Rich Ads because I had set up the post back improperly. However, it is set up now, so we should start seeing the conversions coming in here into Rich Ads. Now, let me just close by showing you a couple more features of Rich Ads, and don't forget to get your 10% bonus at Rich Ads going to dayjobhacks.com slash Rich Ads. You'll get a 10% top-up bonus on Rich Ads. So that's a great um, way to start for free, basically. If you put in, you say, a thousand bucks, you're gonna get a 300 bucks back, so you can actually get all this data for free. Um, running any type of offer. Now, I wouldn't recommend just copying this campaign. Obviously, it's gonna get burned out as soon as people see this on YouTube. Um, I would start looking at dating, sweepstakes, anything that is first page submit as a CPL, cost per lead type of offer. Check with your CPA networks, ask them what is going to work here. Um, start bu building out landing pages, more ads, all that kind of fun stuff, okay? Now, a few things you can do here. You can start filtering by campaign, then you can go even deeper um, into your campaign once you start getting data in here you can start segment segmenting all of that stuff that I showed you in CPV lab pro but even deeper in here you can just start doing it right in their platform if you have the conversion data coming in here 
This is precisely why I use a third-party tracker like CPB Lab Pro. Mistakes like that being made, you can still have your own data. You own your data. It will always be your data, and that's why I use self-hosted tracking, okay? But at the same time, these tools are great, um, especially if you want to start using their optimizations that they have in place and, um, you know, their automated bidding, all of that stuff will start to work once they start getting the conversion data inside, okay? Um, I think I've covered pretty much everything you need to know about running a rich ads campaign that on push at least. Um, one other thing, uh, this is the secret sauce I should say that I've also done here in this campaign is I've also set up um, a back button script. Now, please bear in mind that this may not be allowed on many ad platforms, but let's just check it out. I've done monetizer.com before in my other case studies, talked about it on YouTube. But if you go into monetizer, you can set yourself up with a back button script so that every time somebody lands on your landing page, if they don't like the offer you're giving them, you can click, if they click the back button, it sends them to another offer. And as you can see, the revenue today, not a big whopping deal, 12 cents, but over time, as you're starting to scale your campaigns, you're gonna start making just pennies and stuff here and there, but that's money that you can put back into your ads, and this gives you the competitive advantage that many people aren't doing on other ad platforms, okay? So taking the time to learn this stuff is where you're gonna, you're gonna win, taking time to build landing pages, ads, all that stuff. That is how real media buyers work. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Please subscribe to this channel, and I'll look forward to your questions below.